Welcome back. My name is Michael Moore, and we're at the firehouse now. We're going to go through the assembly process of the MC306 DOT406 Dome Lake Simulator. You would have received it in a cardboard box. You've since removed it, and now we have this foot locker left over. One of the things about taking the time to uh, assemble it is it will have some set screws on it. Uh, you'll have to back out the, the thumb screws on the top. There will be four of them. Once you have those removed, your lid will come off, and then you just set this aside, okay? And then once you have everything, everything inside, you'll check for your packing, and then you'll need to assemble this. The assembly process will just be a matter of setting the legs in. You'll have pinholes in the sides to hold everything in place. So when you first set them up, It'll take a little practice. Mostly what we're watching for is the bushings will be set facing inward. And then inside you have your different dome leak simulators. The 306 on one end and then the 406 on the other. In the box you will also find some different pins that will hold these in position. And that will keep that from rocking back and forth. So it'll take some time, practice with it. You'll have an instructional manual with it, plus you'll be able to come back to the website and watch this as well. So now that we've got both pieces locked in place, what you'll want to do is you'll need to have a 916 wrench and a 916 socket to disassemble the plate for the uh, three-inch clean-out cap. We have to reverse this plate. Once you've uh, had your four post position, you've put your, your two dome heads in, your 406 and your 306 dome head, now what you'll need to do is fill the base full of water, put your boat plug in the end, got the base full of water so it doesn't tip, then we're going to need to reposition this 406 drum so that we can flip this plate. This is going to contain your three inch clean out cap which will be used to practice uh, dealing with leaks for the dome lid, uh, the clean out caps and on putting in the BETS emergency product removal fixture. Uh, you'll take your 9 sixteenths, loosen up the bolt that's got it on the ends and then what you're going to want to do is, is take this ring clamp off by pushing out and lifting up at the same time. Got the ring clamp off. And then you want to turn your plate over and it'll have a three inch clean out cap on it. And you're going to want the three inch clean out cap to be on the opposite end from your pressure regulator. You'll be working with it tilted up in that position. Put your ring back on and it's always best to have the ring positioned so that it's opposite the end of the clean out cap. Once you have it put back in place, then you want to put your nut and washer back on. Be sure to tighten it down to seal for any leaks. And then you'll be able to rotate this back in position for doing your 406 dome leak practice, and then we'll rotate it around for your BETS valve. Now that you've got everything assembled, you've turned over your 406, the next thing you want to do is, is fill these drums full of water. And you're going to do that by making sure you have your vents on the top. You'll have weep holes for venting after we're done with it. We've brought our hose out. Our, our water supply comes through a small gated Y. You'll have a hose coming up to a pressure regulator underneath your 306 another hose coming up to your pressure regulator 
on your 406. Once you've done that, then you're going to go through the filling process. Just back out your regulator until the tank starts to fill. You want to be sure the purpose for closing your vent is you always want to maintain an air bubble in the top of this dome lid. You want to make sure this, this up here stays with a little bit of air. Then you go ahead and back out your regulator until it starts to fill, and then you want to watch for just a little bit of a leak to come past your dome lid. This can get wet at times. And there we go. We want just a very small trip or trickle. What you don't want to have happen is you don't want to have a large spray of water. That would be giving you an unrealistic type of leak. Once you're satisfied with the size of, of the water drip that you have, you're ready to move on to applying the dome clamps. For the purpose of the demonstration, we rotated the dome leak simulator around and we're going to show you how to fill or set the MC-306, the strong back side, for its leak. Remember to close your vent up here. We're trying to maintain an air bubble above this portion. What you'll want to do, reach down with your pressure regulator, back it out, and you'll hear the water movement in. Once, you have it, once you've gotten your little, your, your little bit of a leak, set your desired leak and now you're ready to apply your dome clamp.